My name is Marie Lastra, and I grew up in the city of Bell, and I've always worked in this community. I'll probably be here almost teaching 30 years for Southgate Park. I've taught for uh, Bell Community Center and also for the city of Pico Rivera, Mexican Folklorico. Each state has their own style of dance, and it varies. So the style of dance varies, and also the costume varies. So that's where it's different. But they each, you know, they're all beautiful. They each have their own type of music. The session for the um, younger children, 6 to 8, is Jalisco, which is a more traditional one that you're used to seeing in performances with mariachis and the big restaurants and places that you go to are the most common ones that you see. And the second uh, group, the Nine and Over, are doing um, kind of like a Western dance, which is a Norteño. The stretches is always a little warm up, um, of course, so they don't get hurt as they're dancing. So there's always a little warm up. But at the same time, I, I try to make it fun for them, you know, so they can, you know, 40, this is only 45 minute class. But um, if there is just, you know, on routine, 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 you'll, you know, you won't have the girls or the, the boys focused for that long. There are a lot of original steps that are used, but when you're teaching children that are just learning, you have to simplify the steps. So there's never a choreography that's always exactly the same. My name is Denise Diaz. I am currently a council member in the city of Southgate, and I'm also a director of a nonprofit, a Mexican nonprofit called Centro Jalisco. I love my culture, clearly. You know, I'm a, I'm a huge ambassador of our youth knowing um, where they come from. We are currently living in an age where our youth is facing a lot of bullying facing a lot of hate that's surrounding us in social media, where we unfortunately currently have a president that, you know, could instill some sort of fear factor and some sort of embarrassment factor of our culture. He is mocking our culture. So I think that's where it's crucial as myself, as a public servant, as a leader, as now a young adult, um, to instill pride in our youth with dances like Ballet for Corico. We're always going to be here united and we're not going to, we're going to make sure that we never forget about our culture and these very important programs that are in our community.